Hi, my good people. My name is Claudine Boshe. Today we are going. To, today is going to be a fun day. You're going. I think you're going to have a lot of laughter. Basically, it's uh, the funny things that we've gone through as mothers and before we became mothers. Karibu sana. I'm going to start with my encounter. Basically, in the process of delivery. Uh, these are the things that when I remember right now, they're really, really funny. They're things I thought I would not do, but I really did. So, you see, when you uh, when you told during uh, uh, labor, the way people, uh, women scream because of this excruciating pain, you know? So, I was in that position. Uh, basically, I was induced because I wanted to give birth on the due date, so I was induced. And during the last minutes, that's when I felt the pain. So the things I did, I climbed on the bed, you know, then you dance on the bed, you climb up and down. Those are the things I never thought I would do, but I did them. It's something else. Huh? During delivery, when I was delivering, so uh, when the doctor told me to push, huh? since I've heard and I've seen even movies, I was that when people are giving birth, when they're pushing, they scream. So, ah, ha, ha. so myself, I was there, so the doctor told me push. So I was like, ah. So the doctor told me, my dear, okay, I, I took, uh, 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 my gainer was a lady, and she was very good and polite. So she told me, my dear, when you scream, you're releasing all the energy, uh, you know, via your mouth. So she told me, use that energy to push the baby down. So I was there, so I decided to try it. I closed my mouth, concentrated on pushing, and it really worked. So I'm here to tell you guys, you do not have to scream. Uh, I think that is uh, what we've heard from people, and we've seen it in movies. So we believe for you to deliver, you have to scream. But my gyna taught me, you do not have to scream. <laughs> you don't have to scream, actually. You just have to put that energy inside and release your baby. That was uh, something else. Eh? You can imagine through the pain and then someone tells you that. The first thing I was like, seriously, who does she think she is? Then I said, let me try it in the midst of the pain and everything and it really worked. So the other thing came after delivery. When my kid was delivered, uh, you know the joy that you feel that you've delivered a kid so you want to hold the kid so basically, uh, we held the kid, but now I had the fear. Of, let me just be honest here. Even when my kids, my friends gave birth, or I had to visit relatives, I used to see the kid is so tiny, so I was always scared of carrying the baby. So what I would do, take my present, presents, then uh, once I was told to hold the baby, I would give an excuse like, uh, I, I don't think I'm, I've, I've really sweat a lot, so I don't think it's it's good for me to hold the baby. So I would use such excuses just to avoid holding the baby because I had the fear that the baby is too tiny. So I may hold the baby like this, then the baby falls down. So that was a fear I had, and I also had with my own because I had never even tried it. Even during my uh, time when I was pregnant, I never really tried holding a baby. So there was my time. I had to hold mine. I was so scared. Fortunately, my elder sister was there, so at least she took me through the process. But still, I could not, since I was seeing there's someone there helping me the first week, so I was like, ah, I will learn after. I tried. Okay, I used to hold her when I'm seated, or I was comfortable holding the baby when I'm seated, or uh, that is when I'm feeding. Uh, but not moving around with the baby, especially, okay, I, I would move around with the baby inside the house, but let's say uh, climbing down the stairs, that was the most terrifying moment of my life. Uh, when leaving the hospital, at least my sister helped me. She carried the baby, and then the first visit to the hospital, she was also there, but now she left after that one week of orientation. Let me call it orientation. So she left. I had to carry my own baby through the clinics, going down the, the stairs, you know. Inside the house I was okay, I could hold her, just go sit down faster, hold her, feed her, then play with her, just move kidogo. But I, was, I would make sure there was nothing close to, to me that would trip me, you see. So, the first time I took my baby down the stairs going to the hospital for the clinic, that was the day I don't know, I was so scared. You know, in my mind, I was like, 
what if she falls down? What would I do? What if I trip? You know, those are the fears. But we never really tell anyone because I never told anyone. I think I told my sister the the first few days. But you know, it, you know, like you you're going to learn. Hmm? But to me, it was a big deal carrying that baby. So you get used to it, and it's like oh, it, it's not so tiny. Even going down to the stairs, you get used to it and everything. But I can imagine. I know how I felt. The fear that I would, uh, uh, when walking, my, I would trip and my baby would fall. I know those are the fears. But women, listen, if I did it, <laughs> anyone can do it. So the other fear that I had was washing the baby. See, I had the kawaida basin, eh? the one you put the baby in. You know, the, the basins we, we buy, we used to buy. These days people are really advanced. So my sister washed for me the first week that she was here. So after that, I had to wash the baby on my own. So putting the baby on the basin, you know, it's slippery. I'm telling you, just to be honest, the first day I just took her out, took the bathing towel, just wiped her all around. Then I, I tried calling people. Then I called a relative. One told me I can put um, the baby, the baby, what is it called? The baby, baby bed sheet. I can put it down, then wash the baby. That really served me for a while because it wasn't slippery now. At least I could wash the baby comfortably. But I still felt there was something missing. Let me tell you what I did. As much as it was not easy going round shops at that time, because you know you need to breastfeed continuously and for you know you can't leave your baby. So I rushed out to some of the baby shops. You see the the, the round they're called the bathtub. I think as we call it the bathtub because I used it to wash my kids. The the one the inflatable, uh, the inflatable round, like uh, swimming. Uh, what are they called? Like they're like swimming people. They, okay, we use it as the bathtub, but they're round. They're just like tubs. So those ones are inflatable. So I use that to 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 wash my babies. You know, the, those ones can't sleep. So at least with that, I was just everything. Everything was okay. So those. Those things really, really, really scared me, as in the carrying of the unborn, the washing of the baby. Those ones, I know a lot of mother really, a lot of mothers really struggle with them. But I know with this uh, video, it's going to help most of the mothers who are in the situation that I was in. Thank you for watching. See you. Kindly subscribe, like, share, and uh, leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching, my dears. Thank you. Bye bye.